This is amazing. Now you have rag for your autogen, which means you are able to provide context when these AI agents are performing a task. So in this, I'm going to show six examples which are vital for you to better understand rag. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about autogen rag. So what is rag? Imagine you have AI and the AI contains another brain called second brain. So you can store unlimited amount of data in the second brain. So when we ask a question to the AI agent, it checks the answer in the second brain and respond to our request accordingly. So in simple terms, AI using the context retrieved from the second brain or the embeddings to respond to the query more accurately. So in Autogen RAG, Retrieval Augmented User Proxy and Retrieval Augmented Assistant. The RAG User Proxy will ask a question with context to the assistant. Then the assistant will give us a satisfied answer or update the context. If the answer is not satisfied, then it sends back a feedback to the assistant and finally it gets the satisfied answer. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to implement this in your code. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So the first step, pip install pyautogen retrieve chat and flaml automl and then click enter. Now export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Next create a file called oai underscore config underscore list and in that file make sure you mention the model name. You can also enter various things in this such as API key and other details can be found in the documentation. But this is the minimum requirement. Next, let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. So these are the things which we are going to try. First, we are going to generate code without human feedback, then answer question without human feedback, generate code with human feedback, answer question with human feedback, then QA question using update context feature and tackle QA issues using customized prompts and few short learning. First import JSON OS Chroma DB Autogen. Now from Autogen, we are importing retrieve assistant agent. From Autogen, import retrieve user proxy agent. Next from Autogen, retrieve utils, import text formats. This is the file format that can be used to store in vector database instance. Next, we are defining the config and provide the file name for the config. First, we are going to create retrieve assistant agent named assistant. Assistant equals retrieve assistant agent and providing the LLM config. Next, creating the retriever user proxy agent that is rag user proxy equals retriever user proxy agent and providing the name maximum auto reply. Here is the retrieve config where we are telling the task name is code. These are document paths. Integrate Spark is one document, research and technical details another document. They are in markdown format so you can set your custom text types here. The chunk token size, the size how you want to divide your text and save it in embeddings. Then providing the model name, the path to your chroma db, the embeddings model and then we are setting get or create is called true. Which means if the embedding is not available it will create it or else it will receive it. Finally, we're defining the code execution config is called false. Now we have created these two user proxy rag and assistant rag. The user proxy rag contains the data that is the URL converted to embeddings and stored in Chroma DB. So when the question is asked, that question will contain the context and the assistant will process the request. So the first example, we are going to generate code based on the document provided without human feedback. Assistant dot reset. This is optional just because we are going to run multiple examples in the same file. I'm doing reset. Next code problem. Here I'm asking how can I use flamel to perform a classification task and use spark. Next creating the rag proxy agent dot initiate chat. Inside that we are providing the assistant problem that is the code problem that's the task we are providing and we are using search string spark. This will filter our embeddings or the knowledge we have further using this keyword. This will increase the accuracy regarding the embedding search results. That's it, only few lines of code. First, we created assistant. Next, a rag proxy user agent. So the user agent with the context going to ask this assistant agent. And finally, we are initiating the chat and now we're gonna run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Trying to create collection. 
this fetch the URL and store that data in the context. And when the RAG proxy user assistant agent send the request to assistant, it is including the context. Here it says the context is. So it's sending the context with the search of Spark keyword to the assistant. And the assistant is actually giving the actual code here in this section. And finally, it's updating the context and resetting the conversation and terminating it. Now we have seen generating code based on documentation without human feedback. Now we are going to ask questions, generated code with human feedback and ask question again with human feedback. In the code, example two, asking question without human feedback, assistant rod reset. Then the question is who is the author of Flamel and then initiating the chat. Next example three, generate code with human feedback. Same like before, assistant.reset, rag proxy agent dot human input mode is always. This is where the human gets involved. Next, the code problem, how to build a time series forecasting model for stock price using Flamel. Then we are initiating the chat. And finally, example four, answering a question with human feedback. Same like before we are resetting it, setting the human input mode is always. Then asking a question, is there a function named tunnel auto ML in Flamel? Now we have additionally created three examples with and without human feedback. Now we are going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and click enter. Our example two, who is the author of Flamel? And based on the context, here is the answer. The authors of Flamel are these members. Next, it's going to the code problem with human intervention. So the rag proxy agent is sending the request to the assistant using the context. And now it's asking for me to respond. So I can type skip or auto reply or I can type exit. In this case, I'm just going to enter and it updated the context. And here's the answer to build a time series forecasting model for stock price using Flamel and it gives the code for that. That was our third example question. And finally, this question, the fourth example question is, is there a function named tunnel auto ML in Flamel? Using human intervention, I'm going to click enter. And here is the response. No, based on the context provider, there isn't a function explicitly named tune auto ML. I'm going to click enter. That's it. For our fifth example, we are going to load this natural questions QA from hugging face, I'm going to retrieve all this information. And we are going to store everything in the embeddings chroma DB, then ask questions based on that. In this case, I'm going to use GPT 3.5 Turbo and I'm mentioning the file here, corpus.txt. Next, creating a rag proxy agent equals retrieve user proxy agent, providing the corpus file and mentioning the location where it needs to get stored, providing the embedding model and the collection name in chroma DB's natural questions. The task is QA. Next, we've got a file called queries.json.l. That's where you have the questions for us to test. So I'm going to just get a few questions from that file for us to test. For example, these are questions. What is a non-controlling interest on balance sheet? How many episodes are in Chicago Fire Season 4? We are getting those data and saving those questions and answer in a list format. Next, we are going to loop through the list format and going to initiate chat for every single question. So we got the question here and the context is in this file. So for each question, it's going to search for the context and give us the answer. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py. Now I can see it's loading the data and converting these to embeddings and storing it in the collection. So this is a large chunk of data. So it might take some time. You can see the document is getting added to context. Then we are going through one by one question. What is non-controlling interest on balance sheet? Then it's using the context, as you can see here, and the assistant is going to respond based on the context. And here's the response, equity. In similar way, it's going to respond to each and every question, which is going through the loop. We can see all the questions and the answers here. This is exciting. And final example, asking question answers with few short learning. We are going to use this data set to wiki multi-hop QA. So what is multi-hop? So here I have provided a variable prompt multi-hop. So let's say an example, which album was created earlier? What's inside the album? So this consists of two questions. So the AI agent need to go step by step and understand two questions 
an answer based on that. So that's multi-hop. So here I have provided few examples like context, question and how the answer should look like and provided few. Similarly at the end I am going to provide the context, provide the question and ask it to give the answer same like as I have provided previously. So I'm going to define the corpus file which is from wiki multi-hop dataset. Next create a new collection for natural question dataset and creating a retriever user proxy agent. Same as before, we are providing all those details. Next, we need to define the list of questions which we are going to ask. So the queries, it's from the same data set. So one of the example question is, which film came first? Blind Shaft or The Mask of Fu Manchu? Same like before, we are converting that to a list and looping through those questions. 4i, a range length of questions, and then asking the question by defining the initiate chat function to the assistant. So in short, we are providing a big data set with a prompt to do multi hop. And finally, it's going to give us the answer. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and click enter. You can see the question, which film came first? And it's going to loop through those questions. And finally, here is the answer. So which film came first? So first it's going to perform a task to find information about the mask film and then it's telling that there is no information given directly about the release of blind shaft. So in the second request, it's going and searching for blind shaft from the context and getting the answer, which is 2003. Therefore, the mask of Fu Manchu came out first, well before blind shaft. That is amazing. Now you are able to perform multi hop like this, which is a form of advanced rag on your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.